Hi everyone, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'm back with another video. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. If you've already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. If you like what you see in this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And click the little bell, that way you'll be notified of all future videos that once they're released. So today I am making a card and I'll get into all the, the specifics in just a second. But if you have, um, I'm, I'm casing a card out of our January to June 2020 Benny catalog. And it's this card right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. If you uh, would like to receive a catalog and don't have a demonstrator, please uh, fill out the information in the link below and I'll be sure to get a uh, catalog out to you. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll tell you exactly what we're working with today. So the first thing that we're going to be working with is uh, some of the designer series paper from The Best Dressed. This is part of the Dress to Impress suite. So I'm going to be using some paper from there. I'm also going to be using one stamp from the Dress to Impress. And I'm using a sentiment from So Sentimental. I'll be using the Wishing You Much Happiness Today and Always. This is a cling stamp set, not a photopolymer. And uh, it's quite large, that particular sentiment. I'm also going to be using the a couple of dies from the, what, what is, what's this called? Stitch So Sweetly uh, set. And it coordinates with the So Sentimental stamp set. I'm going to be using the largest of the squ uh, square stitch shapes and the largest tag shape. So let's put that aside. I'm also be going, to, going to be using the Light Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends. I have the Very Vanilla, what is this? Da, 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 da. Very Vanilla Scallops, Scalloped Lace Trim, some Versamark ink, gray granite ink, and I have my, uh, my snail adhesive. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me move some of these things out of the way. So the first thing that we want to do, I've already cut this. Um, the first thing we want to do is get our lace trim. It's very vanilla. I don't know if I mentioned that. I have the white Stampin' Emboss powder. And I want to color this. And it's really, really easy to do with Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to take the, the, the brush tip and I'm just going to go across it. Go across. And you go all the way and you can flip it over to the other side to make sure that like the, the lace trim the edge just that easy so go ahead and it dries really quickly but I wanted to do this first just to make sure that it does dry and I didn't measure out the, the amount of ribbon that I've uh, cut off the trim it's about it's about 12 inches long or maybe a little bit longer than that. I'm basically going to, I'm going to tie it around the card. So I needed an extra long piece. I probably got too much as it is, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And we'll go on. I probably don't need to do the last little parts, but I will. Because you know me and bows don't get along too well. So I need as much trim as possible. So let me flip that over. Make sure the other side is done. And that looks pretty good. So you, you can kind of see, it's colored pretty well. There's one little spot. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside and let that dry. So what we're working with the card base is gray granite that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I have a piece of whisper white. This is going to, I'm going to use this uh, to cut out the scallop shape. And I think this is about like four by five. You just need a piece that's large enough to cut that shape out. 
and I have a piece of lovely lipstick. Again, this is going to, I needed to cut the shape out of the stitched label and something that's large enough to fit that. And I also have a piece of this, the uh, Designer Series paper and I am going to cut the Designer Series paper. And I wanted to show you now, I'm sorry for that there's any glare. And I do do my, my uh, trimmer upside down. But you want to cut it, the, the, the measurements for this one is going to be three and three fourths by five. And you want to cut the three and three fourths measurement first. And so we're going to line that up there and save this particular piece because we're going to use it later. And we'll turn it around and we'll cut it at five inches. And we'll set that aside. And we'll set this piece aside as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some embossing. And I'm going to use this, the lovely lipstick. Let me get everything ready. Set that aside. And I'm going to use my embossing buddy just to get rid of any static. So the embossing powder doesn't stick all over really quickly. And we just need a small sheet of paper to go underneath. So we're going to go ahead and ink up our image. I like to go ahead and stamp first and then cut out. If you want, you can go ahead and cut out and then stamp first, but I find it easier to do it this way. So that's the way that I'm going to do it. But feel free to do whatever is best for you. And I'm going to stamp it directly in the center. Set that aside. And I'm just going to bring in some scratch paper and I'm going to cover it with embossing powder. If you have any extras over there, you can wipe it off, but just be very careful. I'm going to set that aside and then put my embossing powder back in the jar. And we'll set that aside. And we'll go ahead and emboss this now. I like to go from the top and bottom. And they're starting. And once everything goes from matte to shiny, then you know it's it, it's done. So I'm going to go ahead. You can let that cool off for a second. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. And I'm going to, I can never hold it straight. So I'm going to use a little bit of tape to hold it down. And that's just for me. And then I'm going to, so it doesn't move, I'll take both sides. And I'm going to go and, and cut both of these out on my Big Shot. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have my pieces cut out. So we're going to go ahead and get started putting some of this together. But before, I need to go ahead and stamp this. So I'm going to use the gray granite. 
and just some light stamping on for the background. And this is one of the little flowers that is in the uh, Dress to Impress uh, stamp set. And we're just gonna random stamping. Oh, that's not good. Actually, don't really need the inside because the label's going to uh, cover that, all that up. So that's all I'm going to do for that. Maybe one more over here. And that's that. Set that aside. Now, we're going to layer some of these pieces up. I have a piece of vellum that measures... Uh, da, 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 what did I cut this at? Two and three fourths by three and three fourths. And I'm going to layer that on top of here. And normally you don't want to see, um, a lot of times if you're using the vellum, you can see the glue inside of it. So I'm going to put the glue just on the, or the tape, right on the ends, uh, in the middle. And this tag is going to cover that up so you won't really see it. And this measures perfectly well. That will fit inside the little, um, stitches stitch lines of the die cut. So we're just going to lay that on like that. And so I'm not worried that the, the sides are off. That's, that's not a problem. So I can put... No, I can't do that. What I need to do next is put some adhesive on the sides. I'm going to put my ribbon around it. And this is the part where it gets tricky, ladies and gentlemen. Because you know how I am with uh, with ribbon. And trying to tie a bow. So we're going to... Let me put one down in the middle as well. To help it stick. And we're going to come all the way over to the side. And I'm going to leave that there just like that. Nope, I think I need a little bit more on one side. So I'm going to move it over just a tad. You know, this is trial and error. And me and Ribbon. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to stick this down on our card base and make sure to go over the ribbon and set that aside. And we'll burnish it. And layer this like so. Cute, cute, cute. And then we are going to layer, we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. And I'm going to use a lot of dimensionals. I'm going to use about nine. So basically, I wanted to make sure that it doesn't sink in in the middle. And uh, that's why I'm doing that. So, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is well. I am doing well here in Chicago. Weather is not, I'm going to. I shouldn't say this out loud, probably, but the weather is holding up pretty nicely, so uh, that's great. So, I'm going to center this in the middle like that. And then I'm going to stick this down as well in the center 
and that covers up the glue that we that we did and also because it covers up the little mistake that I had I think I should have did this under here oh dear let me pull that I knew I was doing something I knew it was too good to be true there we go and now we'll tie a knot over on this side okay may I do a bow I don't know uh oh that's not a bow we go back You're saying you have a too long on one side. Yes, I do. So I'm going to do it like, like so. I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to bring another bow inside. So let me do that. Let me get another piece and I'll tie a bow and put that on there. So I cut the other piece off and I tied it in a bow and I'm going to get some mini some glue dots and stick that down just like that. Ha -ha. It didn't get the best of me. So that's our card. Super cute, but we're not finished just yet. We can't have... Uh, and a, a empty envelope. So I'm gonna decorate the envelope. And so the other piece that we cut off here fits perfectly on the envelope, that part. And so easy to do. So we're gonna get our glue, our wet glue. Uh -oh. It's a brand new glue, let's see. Cool. And we'll make sure that you get all the way around the corn of the edges because you want to make sure it sticks, sticks down and doesn't go anywhere. And right up to the score, the crease line, but not over. And we'll take our scissors and cut the excess off. And then we'll have an envelope that matches. Just like that. And here's your card and matching envelope. Super cute. And I love the way this turned out. So, if you would like to order any of the supplies that I use today, I'll leave a link down below with all the information on how you can order those as well. And uh, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing from you and I love to respond back to you. So thank you all so much for stopping by. This is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'll be back with another video for you. Have a great day. Bye.